I got this thing. I got a play date. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Look at that thing. It's got a crank. It's got crank. a crank? It tells, it tells the time. It tells the time? Did you did you what? sync up and beep with that instead of time is? Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah I'm over here just doing this. Um, I think it's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's off. But yeah. All right. It's off by a couple minutes. You gotta I crank guess. it. Crank it back. Crank it back. <laughs> I didn't. I did not connect to Wi-Fi, so I don't know if it auto sets time. Uh, if you if you do that. Um, so they're gonna. Um, they're opening pre-orders for these things this week. Uh, I guess it's what 179 dollars. Um, this is from Panic, who published the Untitled Goose Game and the hottest Mac Transmit? FTP client you've ever used. Transmit, high quality yeah. software right there. Um, and Coda, if you're you know if you're doing real work, me I just move <laughs> the files around, so I only need Transmit. Um, so they sent one of these over. This is pre-release. It's uh, you know, it's got four games on it. Uh, and and I don't know if it's like final firmware or anything like that. Um, and uh, it's neat. That's like kind of the the take on the play date. Is it's exactly kind of what you thought it would be. It's like a fun little toy. It's not you know. The, the conversations of like you know, someone in chat just said it. Uh, I'm gonna get a Steam Deck and set instead. Like that's not that's not what this yeah, is. This is like a high end. Yeah. This is like a high end fun game and watch or like a like it's right. a fun gadget. It's a cool <laughs> gizmo. It's got games on it. There's an SDK so you can make games for yourself. But like this isn't. You're not going like. Well, is it as good as a Game Boy Color? Like it's just. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> that they're gonna sell it and you're gonna get the games that you know they doubled they're like hey they're, we're gonna put out a season of games and originally i think they said that was 12 games and at some point they said like ah fuck it it's 24 Whoa. Um, yeah and so you're Turns gonna get you those do it games in the night. <laughs> yeah they're they're gonna roll those out um over time and and so like they will be delivered to your device uh on a on a schedule uh once the From play like date is out kind of known developers right like like guest developers exactly yeah so like uh keita takashi's doing a game um bennett uh, Fadi's doing a game um like there's yeah there's there's a, a wide range of, of developers uh, zach gage is doing a game so it's yeah there's there are uh names doing stuff for this but it's it's a, it's a very simple device you know it is it is a, a d-pad and two buttons and then it's the crank and then it's there's gyros also i should say oh, cool. um in fact, there's how's a the, how's um, the battery life. Battery life is pretty good. Oh, this thing is loud. I need to turn it down. Um, battery life is pretty good. I have not. Um, I have not like had like a marathon session with it, so I haven't haven't been like I played for four hours and then it and then it was done um, or anything like that. Um, but I mean, uh, if it's if it's displaying a clock in standby mode, it is yes, like, and so yeah, you know, it's, it's like days and days and days of standby time. I think is, yeah. is probably what I would say. Um, Got and, that e-ink, whatever they call that, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's a, it's like a really good non-backlit screen, and so the right. thing I kept doing is, you know, I would get to the end of the day. Uh, the family be asleep, and I'd be like, I guess my time now to play video games. Oh, time right, the play date. It. I haven't had time to play anything on this. Time like to crank sick. it. And then be like, oh, it's pitch black in this room. I can't do that. I can't actually. <laughs> right. I can't actually do it. <laughs> Turn um, some lights on. It's a really good, very uh, sharp, non-backlit screen. And so it looks really nice, but it is not backlit. So, like, there, you know, you kind of need to know that going in. But it, it is a, it's a very clear image. Um, they've, you know, so they've, they've provided this and, and put four games on it. And then, you know, they were, they were kind of like, Hey, don't put up footage of the games and, or this game can oh, do it. This, can this game. So it's, there's kind of a, a weird variety of like can and can't, uh, but like they, so they have, they have a, there's a media kit on the menu, uh, that will just have some logos and screenshots and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, I, I'll say, like, holding this up to a webcam and having it be as sharp as it is uh, still is actually, I'm pretty impressed by that. <coughs> um, it, how, how, is it hefty? Does it feel? It feels solid. It does not feel yeah. hollow. It feels like a solid object. Um, it feels pretty good. It's got a, a, a good weight to it. It doesn't feel flimsy. The crank feels like a a very solid object that does not that, that might not break um i i guess solid i won't say break. will not break because who could say uh, someone's gonna sure. break one i'm sure um 
uh, Kranken's Time Travel Adventure. Um, That's good. Strong name. And it's basically... Um, you turn the, so you are you are trying to you are a little uh, a little tin man looking guy and you've got it well here here's the title screen for that uh, ooh cool and um and the the hook here is basically you are you are cranking it to move time um oh. that's actually the level select um but so as you move time forward there are aspects of the the game that do not move in sync with that time basically obstacles or or like hey there's a, a butterfly that if you hit it you're gonna die and so it becomes like timing your movement because he will bend down to sniff a flower for example cool and uh so you need to be bent down sniffing the flower as the butterfly flies overhead and then you need to crank as quickly as possible to get to the objective and you never get That's there cool. in time, and the woman kicks you in the nuts, and you have to do it all over again because you're late for your date with her. Um, <laughs> sounds like a lot so, of these games have a certain kind of more than they appear complexity, right? Like, that's the yes and no. I will say, like of of the four games, there's like a you know, there's kind of a, a game with a bunch of RPG trappings in terms of like dialogue windows and and all this other stuff. But then when you get down to it, is you rotating a world to move a marble around to kind of change gravity and stuff like that. And that's that's a pretty that's neat cool. one. Whitewater Wipeout uh, is a surfing game that is literally a clone of the uh, surfing game from California Games. <laughs> the, the, the classic uh, Commodore 64 slash Lynx. Those are, those are the two versions I like. Um, California Games. So except you're going to the left instead of the right. Like that's the, you know, and so you are turning the crank to turn the surfboard. And so you turn the crank to angle up off the wave and then you crank it as hard as you can to do fucking sick five forties. And then you have to line it up to land on the wave. And cool. it's fun. Like that's the, none of these are games that I'm like, have been like, this is a 10 hour epic, you know, like there's, yeah. there's stuff that is, you know, some of these games are longer than others and all that sort of stuff. But they're like they're fun, they're quaint. You you play them and you're like, this is really cool. This is a really awesome implementation of th this thing, of this crank, of this. And, and and I think like going into it with that of like, I want to see what these designers, some of whom are, um, quite well known and and renowned, and some of whom you you may not have heard of. Uh, I want to see what different people do with this thing. And I think so far, just with the smattering of games that they've shown, they're they're showing that you know, it's a cool device. I think it's well made. Um, it's but you know I, again, like there's people that are trying to look at this in context of like, is this going to be my next game platform? Like fucking no. no. Like come on, yeah, it's not. That's, like that's pretty you obvious. Know, yeah, they, they may go on to do another season of games. They may go on, you know, there's an SDK, so you, maybe there will be a homebrew or development community that will pop up around the play date, and you'll have more people making more things for it that you can load on over USB or, or what have you. Um, but I think that potential is certainly there, but, like, I think people that are looking to make this pre-order should look at it as, like, I'm going to buy this, and it's going to play these games the same way, like, I, you know, the same way a game and watch plays one game. Um, yeah. This right. will play 20 plus or, you know, whatever it is. <clears throat> and I think that's cool. I think it's it's a pretty rad little toy. I think people that are trying to have the, like, value conversation about it is like, ah, oh, but it's 180 bucks and it's, you know, what's a Game Boy going to do? You know, like, they're, ha they're not, they're missing the point of it uh, is that this is, it's the reason why they're making a dock that holds a pen, Right. <laughs> It's right. an executive toy. <laughs> right. uh, it's yeah. it's a thing you could put on your desk and be like, I'm going to crank it for a while and then attach it back to the dock and and then use the pen to write some things down, some put some post-it notes on your monitor and, and that sort of stuff. Like it's it's like that. Um, it's meant to be on your desk for like something for you to fiddle with. It's it's a it's a super high end fidget spinner. Right. It's a with prestige like some item. Some, yeah, it's a prestige handle. Yeah, yeah. it's it's it, with really neat games. And, and again, like, you know, it, it is also your opportunity to see, like, the next game from Lucas Pope and, and stuff like that. Like, right. there's that attraction as well. The first 20,000 orders will be fulfilled timely. 
And okay. then after that, it's sort of like... Yeah, 20,000. Uh, our factory is currently manufacturing our initial order for 20,000. Uh, and we will ship these units as they are received from the factory, some every week starting in late 2021. So similar timing to the Steam Deck. Um, but yeah, they, they will have that first 20,000. It, look, it looks like they'll have that first 20,000 near the end of this year. And then after that, it'll be next year and that they will provide more specific timing as they go. So find an audience, right? It won't be for like everyone, for sure. Like 180 bucks for something that's only going to play these select little tiny experiences. That's not going to be like something that's attractive to folks that don't have that level of disposable income. But for, you know, tired, washed out, <laughs> older gamers who are interested oh, in game design and stuff like that, this thing is like... Really I think they'll sell a good amount. You know what I, I think mean? they'll sell. Yeah, I, I think it's going to do just fine. I think there's there's an audience for this that will have the 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 money for it. But you know, but it, it's it's not meant to be a competitive device with you know other right, right. platforms. At the end of the day, like it's just not. Man, it looks cool when it's in the dock. Jeez, it, it looks does. like a little CRT. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's cool. I'm definitely going to get one. Yeah, yeah it, it's so. it's super neat. Uh, and and yeah, I, but I, I think it's one of those things like you know if you're the type of video game fan that this appeals to you already and i guess the thing i would say is if you are already in that boat what i've seen of it does not disappoint and i think it will deliver hmm. my, my guess is that it will deliver what you're looking for on that front as long as you have those expectations in check in terms of like hey it's it's, it's like a relatively simple handheld it's just got a cool crank um it does need stuff